The laptop interior serves up even more lighting by way of the keyboard, the touchpad, the Alienware logo inscribed on the bottom bezel and the Alien head serving as the power button. The rest of the keyboard deck is swaddled in delectable, black soft finish. Leanware 15, starting at $1,299.99, reviewed at $1,649. Like its bigger brother, the Alienware 17, the 15 has undergone a color change and lost a little girth in the process. But never fear, you still get all of the usual Alienware goodies, including customizable LED lighting. In addition to its new, intergalactic look, this beauty packs some beastly power in the form of an 8th gen Intel Core i7 processor and an overclocked NVIDIA GDX 1070 graphics card. While it gets a bit hot and lacks a G-Sync display, the Alienware 15 remains one of the best gaming laptops you can buy in this price range. Design A Blackout Never Looked So Good Alienware has thrown another color into the mix, swapping out the epic silver paint job on the anodized aluminum lid for the optional epic black. The company also added more lighting zones to the laptop, for a grand total of 13. However, similar to what you found on the Alienware 15's predecessor, the only lighting you'll find on the lid comes from the large alien head in the center the rest of the customizable light show can be found along sides of the lid and keyboard deck. The Alienware 15 is still the heavyweight on the block, thanks to its 7.8 pound, 15.3 x 12 x 1 inch frame. The power spec 1510, 15.3 x 10.8 x 1.3 inches, isn't too far behind, at 6.5 pounds, while the Asus Raj Zephyrus MGM501, 15.1 x 10.3 x 0.70.8 inches, weighs in at 5.5 pounds. The MSI GS65 Stealth Thin, 14.1 x 9.8 x 0.7 inches, and Razer Blade, 14 x 9.3 x 0.7 inches, are on the lower end of the scale, at 4.1 and 4.6 pounds, respectively. Display the Alienware 15's 1920x1080 matte panel delivers vivid color and plenty of brightness. When I watched The Night Comes on trailer, a Muslim woman's magenta dress and matching head scarf took flight in the wind, offering up a beautiful contrast to the red brick church with its light blue doors. Detail was sharp enough that I could make out the delicate curl pattern in actress Dominique Fishback's jet black hair as well as the chips and scrapes on her submachine gun. The screen also looks great when you're gaming. I got buttery smooth frame rates as I hunted down a goat while fending off a pack of wolves in The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt. I was enthralled by the red-orange blast of flame I launched into the center of the attacking animals, singeing fur, and leaving them open to a sword attack. As pretty as the action looked, I wish the panel had NVIDIA's G-Sync technology. Syncing the display refresh rate to the GPU makes for an even smoother render. Audio Alienware 15's front-firing speakers are loud, capable of filling my medium-size conference room. When I listened to the internet's slow jam girl, the speakers produced deep bass, with crisp percussion and clean keyboards accompanied by lead singer Sid's seductive soprano. However, there was a bit of distortion in the highs at maximum volume. The speakers gave a better performance when I played Witcher 3. The lively violin was the star of the show when I battled a nest of ravenous neckers. Gerald's grunts and the neckers' beastly screeches filled the air, mixing with the tambourine and sharp claps for a symphony of destruction that was music to Meyer's keyboard and touchpad using the Alienware 15's keyboard is like typing on a bunch of tiny trampolines. The keys have a travel of 2 mm with an actuation force of 78 grams. That's well beyond our 1.5 mm, 60G minimum. With all that bounciness, I hit 80 words per minute on the 10 fast fingers test, which is considerably faster than my usual 70 WPM. Gaming, graphics and VR never let it be said that the Alienware 15 suffers from middle child syndrome, especially not when it's packing an overclocked NVIDIA GeForce GDX 1070 GPU with 8 GB of VRAM. During a romp around VLAN in Witcher 3, I ran afoul of a giant bear. 
I employed a fairly successful battle strategy of dodges, sword strikes and fire spells at 64 frames per second on ultra settings at 1920x1080 laptop was just as dynamic on our other benchmarks, on Rise of the Tomb Raider, the Alienware 15 delivered 72 frames per second on very high at 1080p, handily defeating the 58fps premium gaming laptop average. With their respective NVIDIA GeForce GDX 1070 Max-Q GPUs, the Stealth Thin and Zephyrus scored 44 and 53 FPS. The PowerSpec 1510 and its full GDX 1070 GPU got 56. However, the Blade, with its own 1070 Max-Q graphics card, managed 77 FPS. I spent 15 minutes hunting for a goat in Witcher 3 and killing murderous Neckers. After that, I measured the touchpad, middle of the keyboard and undercarriage of the system, and got temperatures of 74 degrees, 97 degrees, and 129 degrees Fahrenheit, respectively. The touchpad temperature is within our 95 degree comfort threshold, but the bottom was particularly toasty when the system cooled down, we ran a full screen HD video for 15 minutes and then remeasured the key points of the laptop. The touchpad measured 86 degrees, while the center of the keyboard and the bottom measured a rather warm 102 and 113 degrees. Software and warranty if it weren't for Windows 10, there wouldn't be a hint of bloatware on the Alienware 15. But alas, there's plenty to be found on the system, including Drawboard PDF, March of Empires, Candy Crush Soda Saga and Disney Magic Kingdoms. Dolby Access, which enhances your audio experience via your headphones, is also pre-installed, along with McAfee Security and McAfee Web Advisor Alienware branded software includes digital delivery to ensure your software is up to date. Support Assist keeps an eye on laptop diagnostics and lets you tune performance, optimize your network and check for viruses, all at the touch of a button. The docking accessory apps ensure a fast connection between the laptop and any compatible docking stations, while Mobile Connect lets you interact with your smartphone via your PC.